Now, President Bola Tinubu has called for the establishment of a regional counterterrorism center, which will serve as a hub for intelligence sharing, operational coordination, and capacity building for Africa. President Tinubu told an African high level meeting on counterterrorism in Abuja on Monday that the continent must take a comprehensive approach to combating terrorism by addressing the root causes of the scourge, such as poverty, inequality, and social injustice. This African high-level meeting on counter-terrorism holding in Abuja offers a unique opportunity for key players to brainstorm on possible solutions to terrorism and violent extremism that have continued to spread across West Africa, the African continent, and the rest of the world at an alarming rate. President Bola Tinibu noted that to effectively counter the threat posed by terrorism to Africa, Leaders in the continent must attack the roots that feed the evil brands such as ransom and illegal mining. We must therefore fight this threat together, combining determined national efforts with well-tailored regional and international collaboration. The fight against terrorism requires a comprehensive approach we must address the root cause of extremism, such as poverty, marginalization, and social injustice. The president said that beside the indispensability of a regional standby force, which mandate includes tackling terrorism, the African region must also strengthen existing counterterrorism structure, such as the Regional Intelligence Fusion Unit in Abuja. The African Center for the Study and Research on Terrorism in Algiers and the Committee of Intelligence and Security Services of Africa in Addis Ababa. We shall be knocking on the door, on this door of the international community to answer the call for justice, peace, and fair play. Key to our collective efforts against terrorism is the need for a fully operational regional counter-terrorism center. This center will serve as a hub for intelligence sharing, operational coordination, and capacity building throughout our region. Ghana is determined to contribute to that process. Ladies and gentlemen, institution building is equally essential to sustaining our counterterrorism efforts over the long term. Strong and resilient institutions are the bedrock of effective governance and law enforcement. Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations, Amina Mohammed, suggested that Africa must work to rebuild its social contract with its citizens and deliver good governance. We must formulate responses that address these conditions, and in doing so, we must pay attention to our women and girls who bear the greatest impact of insecurity, often the victims of terrorism, who deserve our solidarity and who have a right to remedy and reparations, and also to our youth and future generations. The National Security Advisor, Nuhuri Bado, insists that terrorism in Africa is driven by a number of factors, including organized crime, foreign terrorist financing and training, inequality and prolonged conflict. He however informed the gathering that Nigeria has continued to strengthen its judiciary to effectively deal with cases of terrorism while uh, marking substantial funds to boost counter-terrorism efforts. Mwesi Igono, Air News, Abuja.